And welcome back to Slate Spire. Let's play some silent. Another try. Indeed, indeed yes. Okay, I like this option a lot, but let's take a look at the map. The other options are okay as well. I do like the 100 gold start as well. Well, I don't like the boss swap usually, so we can rule that out. We could take the 100 gold. There are plenty of shops available. I think if I were to take the 100 gold, well, it doesn't matter. One of these, one of these stores would be the pick there. So head to this campfire, then do this elite and hopefully be able to do the burning elite. But if not, then we can opt out for this path. Okay, seems acceptable. And I think we will go for the choose a rare card in exchange for some max HP. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's either Wraith form or Doppelganger here. We're fighting Hexaghost. Um, Wraith form is definitely powerful. It's just a little bit, a little bit cumbersome to play, to get into play, and does come with the malus. Nightmare has a lot of potential, but at the start of Act 1 it's pretty bad. Doppelganger is alright, but mainly if you manage to upgrade it. I actually think I like Doppelganger more, but that's only because if I take it, I'm planning on upgrading it. And we will get probably three campfires in this act. Well, three plus one at the end. One, two, three. Yeah, so four campfires. I think I'll take the doppelganger, even though the wraith form definitely, definitely is a powerful, powerful card. So that might even be called a mistake, perhaps, but I've made it. I just generally dislike wraith form a little bit. Would have preferred to get something like Adrenaline out of that, or an Alchemize, something like that. Alright, can't quite kill here. So let us block instead. Hmm, well that's an unfortunate draw order there. Let's see if we can block or kill here. We can block. Okie dokie, and we just barely get the kill. Good, good, good. Get a skill potion. And a masterful stab, which is very powerful early on, but later on obviously does lose its effectiveness, and the downside of it is often pretty bad. Alright, so we're not going to a store, I think, since we didn't take the money. Alright. Doppelganger is actually being useful despite be despite not being upgraded so far. And there we are. Okay, so acrobatics is obviously the best card long term. However, in the short term, the dash is definitely better and pairs very well with the masterful stab. Zero cost and two cost. There we are. And we find some potions. Let's leave the dexterity potion behind though. And let's take a fight here, I think. Okay, we can actually kill the spike slime first, so let's do that. Turn one kill there. Now for the Acid Slime. There we are. Hmm. Dagger Throw Slice Escape Plan. So Escape Plan is the best card long term, but again, we are more interested in the short term this early on. So I think Dagger Throw is the pick here that will basically guarantee that we have enough damage between Masterful Stab, Dash and the Dagger Throw to get through the Act 1 Elites. Even, I think, the Burning Elite probably. 
So let's take that and fight some more lousy enemies. Still need some help against Hexagos though. Perhaps I shouldn't say still since we are at the very beginning of the run. Okay, let's attack this one and block. Might be using a potion next turn, but we'll see. Okay, Masterful Stab coming in handy. Goodbye, Laos. And also what I meant to say, which I didn't, is that taking Dagger Throw there enables some discard synergies. Well, perhaps not by itself, but it is a start. And speaking of discard synergies, Acrobatics came back. This time I will take it. It also does work quite nicely with Doppelganger, especially if and when we manage to upgrade that Doppelganger. Which might be already, but then again I like the Masterful Stab, the Dash and the Neutralize upgrade a lot as well. Acrobatics upgrade is also quite good. So, hmm. Now nah, I will I will upgrade the doppelganger first here. And let's fight our first elite, which is the Gremlin Bob. Okie dokie, I think we might be using the energy potion straight away. Just to get 12 more damage. Which might be a mistake, but I'm not going to think about it for too long. Okay, this turn sucks a lot. The problem with the skill potion is that it is a skill. And Gremlin Knob loves skills. Alright, well, we are playing Survivor. And I guess we are taking three. So this fight hurts a lot. Alright. So we need to deal 25 more damage. I guess we are playing the doppelganger to maximize the potential of being able to deal that 25 next turn. Means we do take 5 more damage ourselves. Ouchies, down to 20 hit points. Okay, so this is 22. That's not enough. We might use the skill potion now, perhaps. I mean, do we even have a choice? Well, we do, because Survivor Dash should block for enough. So we might find some damage here, or perhaps something that will draw into a dagger throw. Hmm. Yeah, we need the help. Bouncing Flask is help. So quite a tough first fight here. Kremlin Knob is often like that with the Silent. As a reward, we get the Centennial Puzzle and the Skill Potion. And the Terror. Now, that is a definite needed part of the puzzle for Hexaghost. Get in here, Terror. Hmm. The heal is okay, but the card remove is more okay, I think. And we probably aren't doing the Burning Elite, by the way. Not with 20 hit points. Let's get rid of a strike here. Does mean that we probably rest, but oh well. Sundown, okay. That works with the Doppelganger Plus and the Acrobatics a little bit. And also works with the Strike Remove. Alright, so with only one potion and 20 hit points, I think we should rest here. Hmm. Then again. We do get another campfire here, which means perhaps now we could upgrade and rest over here instead. Perhaps, perhaps. Hmm, it is a slight risk though. The hallway fights could potentially be deadly. Perhaps, perhaps. But let's upgrade terror here. I think, I think we can do it. We might need to use the skill potion though. Not against this guy. Alright. Do take three damage here, but 
Well. There we are. Terror is back. I don't think we want two terrors. Let's instead instead take a blade dance. Excellent damage common card. And fight the looter now. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we just prefer not to take damage here, so let's skip the blade dance. We could perhaps set up Sundial, but not in this fight. Not when I already played the Masterful Stab. So let's just kill this fool. Take the Energy Potion. Concentrate Prepared. Now both of those cards are pretty good, but only when upgraded. We might be able to upgrade one of them. Can't do both, I don't think, since we need to rest here. Could also take a second dash, but it's not very good. I will take the prepared here. That enables some more discard synergies, and we can upgrade it probably over here, unless we find something that we'd prefer to upgrade for Hexaghost. And yes, indeed, let's rest for this elite, which is the Lagavulin. Okie dokie. Hmm. All right, let's... Hmm. Do I actually use acrobatics here or do I just doppelganger? So with doppelganger we draw everything. Which is hmm, not actually that good. So let's instead use acrobatics here. All right, and now use doppelganger. Might even consider waking it up already, but probably not worthwhile. Okie dokie. Six energy to play with. Can't make use of all of that energy though. So if I want to potentially save 10 health, we could use the skill potion. Then again, having full health or well, good amount of health for Hexaghost is not required and in fact can be a detriment. <clears throat> so I guess we just keep the skill potion. We might make better use of it later on, probably already in the Hexaghost fight. All right. Um, we probably already killed, so no need to consider blocking. There we are. Get the anchor. Nice find. Just doesn't help us against Hexaghost. The fear potion is probably... Actually, no, we do have the... We already have the terror, so nope. Predator, okay. That works, well, has some synergy with, with the Sundial and also kind of with the Doppelganger. I guess we'll take it. Could also take perhaps a Blur or another Acrobatics, but let's take the Predator here. And now that we can upgrade, I think we upgrade the Prepared. There we are. Now let's fight Hexaghost here. Start with the dagger throw in case we draw into something good. Kind of did, though would prefer to have the terror active already. There we are. Let's not take any damage if we can choose to do so. So far we can. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see what prepared has for us. 
survivor. Okay, very nice. And also a masterful stab. Yeah, sure. Let's use doppelganger here. Alright, nice draw order. Okay, so no way around taking damage here unless I use the skill potion, maybe. Just deal damage. Okay. Need just a little bit more. Just a little tiny bit. And there we are. Goodbye, Hexaghost. Power potion is better than either of these potions, I think. So which one are we ditching? Probably the energy potion, even though it does have some synergy with the two cast cards and the doppelganger. Let's do so. Die, 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 burst tools of the trade. Okay, so I could see any of these three being the pick here going into Act 2. None of them are like anything to get overly excited about though. If they were upgraded, then yes, they would be. I'm slightly leaning towards Tools of the Trade, though the Burst could definitely work with the Doppelganger specifically. The thing with Burst is that it really wants an upgrade, but it is a powerful card. Die 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 is good for Act 2. It's not all that great otherwise though. Tools of the Trade can be quite nice. Hmm. I think we will take the Tools of the Trade and with the tools the acrobatics and the dagger throw and the prepared plus we definitely can take many many discard synergy cards so let's take the tools here and here's hovering kite we could also just take coffee tripper though we don't have any healing so probably take the hovering kite Yeah, especially since we added the tools of the trade, I think that's going to be the pick here. So now every time, well, not every time, the first time during a turn that we discard, we gain energy. Quite nice. This deck currently doesn't perform all that well against Act 2 Elites though. And we really want to get rid of these strikes. Also have 250 gold. So if I head this way, is that any good? Forced into an elite fight, but maybe that's not too bad. The rest of the act looks pretty good. Well, let's say acceptable instead of pretty good. Something like that could work. Perhaps this path is also, well, this path is very similar to this one, but yeah, this could work, definitely, kind of, yeah, there, all three of these paths, this purple one, the yellow one, and this one right next to the yellow one are quite similar, so is there a point in going purple? Well, it enables us to perhaps choose the right and most path, however, that doesn't look very good. We have only one elite here and we can't get to a campfire. And if we want the campfire, we don't get an elite. Not that we necessarily can even fight elites late in Act 2. The good thing about going yellow path is that we can opt out for 
a campfire instead of an elite if we are not strong enough so i guess we'll go yellow path could also take this path instead is that better we get one more question mark room like this i might consider the bite event with this deck if we still have four strikes left when that is offered so that will take the max hit point value quite low. Well, we start here anyway, but there is perhaps cause for consideration in going for this path instead. So let's start with the yellow path. Anchor is trying its best, but so far providing no value. Okay, get rid of the strike. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we draw into. The doppelganger, okay. Dash, now that's nice. So we are playing dash instead of predator here. And I guess... Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to save one hit point specifically. Not even with the masterful stab in the discard pile. And we can also take one damage for the centennial puzzle. So the only question now is do I use dagger throw before doppelganger? And I think I do actually. More damage is better. Alright, now hopefully we can kill this this turn, which I don't know, maybe. Maybe. So 15, 25, 37. 43. Okay, that's exactly enough. But I can't play all of that, can I? No, I can't. Dang. Okay. Well, maybe we can hit Masterful Stab with the Prepared, and maybe I should use a Potion as well. Nope, no Masterful Stab there. Well, we're always playing Dash because it also deals damage in addition to blocking. I think. Alright, so need 33 more. 15 plus 12 is obviously not enough, so I guess we are using the skill potion. Alright, none of this is damage adjacent. Hmm, maybe the prepared in case we hit. Masterful stab. Alright. Dagger throw. Is that enough? No, I don't think so. 24 with predator and dagger throw. 12, 9, 21, 27. Nope. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're blocking in that case. Not blocking enough, obviously, but blocking for some amount. Hmm. Well, it's it's not too bad taking six here. Not too, too bad. Okay, 21 damage, can we deal that? 18, exactly 21, okay. And we even can play that one additional strike, but we didn't need to. Alright, let's take a backflip, I suppose. And let's just go yellow path, I think. 
Okay, desecrate right before store. All right, I will take that. Thank you very much. Apotheosis is here, as is the incense burner, but not sure I want to spend over 300 gold on a relic as annoying to keep track of as this. Probably I don't. Sneaky strike on sale, I could perhaps get behind, as well as the pen nib. But let's remove that regret. No regrets allowed. And I think Apotheosis is going to be the pick here. Fairly obvious. With the amount of unupgraded cards that we have in the deck. Now the question is, what else do I take here? We are fighting the Collector. And we can skip this Elite if we so choose. Hmm. Can also afford a Potion after the Pen Nib. Can I get a potion and the sneaky strike? Yes, I can. Let's get the colorless potion. It costs exactly one less gold than the other options, meaning it is the best option. There we are. Now, okay, it is the bite event. And we do still have four strikes, which means I guess we will take it. They will also be upgraded bites with the apotheosis. We are now down to only 42 hit points, though. Oh, hello, Apotheosis. How nice of you to show up immediately. Suffer! I mean, if you insist, I can try, but so far, no suffering. Okay, let's kill this fool. Goodbye. Cultist potion. Well, hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're getting rid of the colors potion that we just bought. Goodbye. Cultist potion is better. Sneaky strike plus. Hmm. Just bought a sneaky strike. Do I want two of them? I think the answer is no, actually, even though sometimes it could be very nice. Alright, let's upgrade the Apotheosis and fight an Elite. See how this goes against the three Slavers. Might be using the Power Potion here, but if I can, I will save the Cultist Potion for the Collector. Pretty much guarantees that we can get out of that fight. Hmm. I think I will use the Power Potion here. This fight is tough enough. And I think we are getting the well-laid plans here. We already have a tools of the trade of our own and freight form unupgraded. Eh. Especially since we are currently benefiting from the anchor anyway. All right, let's see what backflip has for us. A sneaky strike. All right. Let's kill the Red Slaver first. Hmm, yeah, I should have remembered about the Pen Nib. 20, okay, let's do the dash. Do the dash, yes. Taking 30 currently, I guess we could take that 30 to get value out of the Centennial Puzzle. Also, it's not that bad since we have the Bites. Then again, the Decker Throw does deal more damage and enables us to perhaps draw into the Doppelganger or the Terror. However, we could also draw into the Apotheosis or the Tools of the Trade. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's better to use the Bite in that case. It is only a guess, though. Let's keep the Decker Throw. Take some damage from these fools. 
draw into a lot of things. Use the terror. Kill the red slaver. Goodbye. Use the apotheosis. Let's block. Hmm. Probably actually discard the acrobatics here. And let's block some more and play that. And let's keep the bite plus so we get some hit points back. Alright, and now the masterful, masterful stab is starting to look pretty bad. As you do. Okay, can we kill this guy? Yes, we can. So let's just take some damage here. Which we can heal up. Okay, let's start biting. Here's the pen nib. But if we want to play optimally, we will advance the pen nib number. Then again, it probably doesn't matter all that much. We might even be able to do two elites here, but I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps we can with the apotheosis and the bites, but we are still not out of this fight. So this deals 40 damage, which will kill this guy. Hmm. There are a lot of wounds in the draw pile. Which means perhaps we shouldn't be toying with the idea of advancing Pennib here. Let's just keep the Predator and kill this fool. I will suffer no fools. Hmm. Then again, with all of this, yeah, that will kill anyway, won't it? Yes, it will. Alright, let's advance the Pennib. Let's also heal up. There we are. Get the Tori. Pretty nice. And also a backflip plus. Not that the cards being upgraded matters that much anymore. It matters a little bit, but not that much with the Apotheosis plus in the deck. Hmm. We are at full hit points. I guess we will upgrade something that we might draw before we draw the Apotheosis. So let's upgrade tools. Energy upgrades are quite valuable. And here we have the Strawberry. That's actually excellent. Max HP is back to 49 now. I think we will fight this Elite. Could go for the Burning Elite, but the campfire here is pretty useless and it is only one elite so let's see about this one all right gremlin leader let's see what acrobatics gets for us a couple of decent things want to kill the fat gremlin and we can do that Oh, hello, Sneaky Strike. How nice to see you. Oh, I should have played the Sneaky Strike first. Okay, mistakes. Mistakes were made. Doesn't matter all that much, but yeah, that's a pretty silly mistake. Silly mistake. Thank you for not attacking. Then again, your next attack will hurt more. Hmm. Mad Kremlin has the block. So I guess we go for the Kremlin leader here. Probably just take the damage here. Okay, Pennib, let's use that at least. There we are. Draw more with Centennial Puzzle. Are you attacking? You're not attacking. Thank you. Hmm. I need to deal with these guys though. So what do I get rid of here? Probably the defend. Probably. It doesn't matter all that much since we have the bites. 
don't need to calculate it all that all that much I don't think at least but since I already made a semi bad mistake in this fight maybe I shouldn't be so nonchalant about it Blade Dance has some nice synergy with the pen nib by the way um, let's see so definitely want the fat gremlin dead and the sneaky one should be pretty easy to kill as well Let's see what prepared gets. Oh, yeah, Sundial. Definitely forgetting how to play this game, apparently, but so far it's working out regardless. Alright, so we shouldn't have any problem here. Let's start biting. Ah! Biting and stabbing. Hmm. Might just leave the mad gremlin alive. Then again, it's going to hurt a lot next turn unless I manage to kill the leader. Can't kill it just yet anyway. Oh yeah, we also have the Tori. Keep forgetting things. Okay, so now we can pen nip a sneaky strike. And heal up to full as well. Could perhaps advance the pen nip though, so I think we will. 32 plus 12. That is enough to kill this fool. Hmm. Okay, let's wait. Perhaps we can advance the pen nib. Seems to be the case. Don't want to deal too much damage. Twenty, okay. Hmm, I guess I just end turn now. Can't really draw into anything that I'd like to get. One of the things I dislike about the game is these relics that have a number associated with them. Means that I need to drag fights on to get the max value out of things out of them. So some quality of life would definitely be appreciated in Slate Aspire 2 at least, in that regard. Alright, so one of these kills, so let's advance Pennib. Alright. There we are. You may live. Get out of here. Get the Matryoshka. It's a bit late, but there is a world in which we get full full value out of it. Don't know how likely it is, but oh well. Adrenaline. Okay. I really like that, especially with the Doppelganger Plus and the Sundial. Here's the snake plant. One of my least favorite enemies in the game. Then again, for this run, it's not that bad since we can heal up with the bites. And with the anchor also, that mitigates the downsides of facing the snake plant. Let's see what we draw. There's the terror. There we are. Take zero, actually. Hmm. Well, this is more than zero. Oh, well. 
Ouchies. Let's see if we can bite. Well, we can bite, but only twice. Sundial. We can advance Sundial. And I can also advance Pennib. Sometimes I do remember to do these, these things in this game. They're quite annoying, but they're also semi-necessary on Ascension 20 to maximize chances of survival. Alright, could see any of these three being the pick here. Eviscerate is obviously pretty good with the discard synergies that we have. However, I don't know how, how like necessary it is. Acrobatics is perhaps a bit overkill at the moment. However, if we find some more discard synergies later on, then you really can't have too many acrobatics. And we only have one of them at the moment. Blade Dance number two is okay, but I think it's a skip. I think it's just the worst option out of these three currently. Does work with the pen nib as the first one does, but eh. Mm. Do we need the eviscerate to fight the collector? I mean, it works quite nicely with the pen nib if we can manage that. Does work quite nicely there. All right, I'll take one, but only one. Probably can full heal in this fight. Quite nice. Thank you for not attacking. Hmm. Don't need to think about this that much, I don't think. Unnecessary. Why use big brain when no brain can do job? We can even probably kill it. Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can. There we are. Here's a viscerate. Here's Terror. Would like the full heal though. Could have drawn into the Apotheosis earlier. Okay, so this won't quite kill. Well, does leave it with a healthy 20 hit points actually. Alright, so now let's see if we can set up these relics at a good number and also heal up to full. That will help a lot against this next elite. Will be tedious, but oh well, can't be helped. Need to wait for it to heal, but we can advance Sundial a little bit. Okay, just wait, I suppose. There we are. Mm. So if I kill it now, then that's definitely not the correct numbers for those relics. So we just wait. We play the waiting game. Alright. Two and two. Let's see if we can advance Pennib further. Okay, I think we just kill it now, though we could yes, we could wait for next turn. 
Yeah, that will be enough damage. Just need to make sure not to use backflip to mess up the sundial. So let's wait again. There we are. Just use the blade dance, I guess. There we are. Alright, attack potion might come in handy. Hmm. I would like to get some dexterity at this point. That would make the dodge and roll an excellent pickup. It might still be okay since it does get the apotheosis benefit. We just take the cloak and dagger plus that does block and also advances pen nib. Yeah, sure. I'll take the cloak and dagger. Slavers again, huh? Well, we get Apotheosis turn one. As well as a double Kanger. Uh, I guess we'll wait with the attack potion. Can use it at a more opportune moment. There we are, there's Terror, as well as Sneaky Strike. We are weakened, however. Okie dokie, 24, 24, okay. And now let's not mess up the Sneaky Strike, let's use the Acrobatics first. Mm, use it on this one though. We're also using dash, probably. So do I want to use the blade dance or not, is the question here. Hmm, if I use the dash on this one, it is kind of wasted damage, however, I can also block. Instead, if I use the dash on this one, we need to use another attack cord. Then again, it doesn't matter since we have the bites. Probably doesn't matter. So, mm, it's like whatever. It's like whatever. We might even draw into Adrenaline if we play the backflip. Or Prepared, which in turn can get us Eviscerate or Adrenaline. So yes, let's actually use backflip first here. Okay, there's Eviscerate, we can't play it though. But I could use the backflip number two. Now that gives us more chances. And then we can use dagger throw. To get one more chance at adrenaline or prepared. Alright, well. What about the dagger throw? Nope. That's fine. Let's take one more damage. Still have the attack potion at, as well. Alright, maybe this is too much energy to make use of, but it do be what it do be. Okay, can't get pen nib now. Can't quite kill this one either. Lots of energy left over, which indicates that we should definitely get more card draw. Should have perhaps taken the acrobatics when we, it was offered. But there's still plenty of time to find card draw. Okie dokie. So ideally we once again get this on the correct number. However, against the taskmaster who adds wounds into the deck, it's not that good of an idea, as it might seem, to attempt that. So let's kill this one. And just use the dash, I guess. Still a decent card. Well, it plans would help a lot in the deck. 
Okay, so one for Sundial and... And... Six for Pennib. That's pretty good. Preserved Insect is also pretty good. Won't help us in this act, but... It's pretty good. Piercing Veil is pretty good as well. Let's take that. And... Fight the Sneko. Would have preferred to fight the Arena, but... You can't always get what you want. Not even nearly always. The perplexing gaze might mess with us a lot, actually, but... With full hit points, it should, for the most part, be fine. Could just doppelganger. Let's use masterful stab at least first, though. And I do keep forgetting about Tori. Thank you, Tori. You're doing valuable work. Right, so this costs in effect one. Sundial is at the correct number. Pennib probably won't be, but that's fine. Actually, we can get it on the correct number, it seems. It does appear to be the case. There we are. Another backflip. Well, that is card draw. Blur is also pretty good. I like that card a lot. For the late game, that is. Would be better if we had dexterity, but apotheosis is basically like dexterity. I did say I like more card I would like more card draw, so I guess we'll take the backflip. Take the backflip. Maybe just get the Ruby key already. Though we can get that later. We could just add upgrade adrenaline here for example because we might draw it before we draw the apotheosis yeah I think we'll do that and I think we will also use the cultist potion just to guarantee that we get through this fight don't want to risk it no need to risk it there is no biscuit at the end of the rainbow at least I think that's the case. Haven't actually checked, so maybe I am speaking out of my proverbial ass. But let's keep playing the game. Good amount of damage already. Hmm. Still no terror or tools though. Pennib is on 9 now. I guess we do kill the adds first. 34 plus whatever, that's enough to kill this one. Actually, let's go for... Yeah, this order. One hit point down, whatever. Okay. Take some damage, but we can heal up. Um, instead of playing Blade Dance, let's just use Doppelganger. So that we don't waste Pinnib. Alright, nice. I 
I would once again like to advance this through, though. Um, can I even theoretically kill it yet? Perhaps not. Perhaps not, so... No reason to think about it, actually. It's pretty close, though. Pretty close. Yeah, actually, I can kill it. But let's wait. But wait, there's more. Um, do I want to backflip? It's fine. Let's do it. Drawing acro later would have been better, but whatever. All right. Sundial is on one. That's going to be good enough. Let's advance the pen nib, though. There we are. Entropic brew. Okie dokie. Burst has made a return. Corpse explosion is here. Bullet time is a skip. That's just not very good. Not with this deck, at least. So, corpse explosion. Do I need more damage? Well, perhaps for the late game that is actually the case, but we can still find more damage. Now that we have the adrenaline, the prepared, some backflips, in addition to the doppelganger, I think this is the moment we take the burst, especially since we have the apotheosis as well. So, corpse explosion is a close second, but let's take the bur burst here. Can't really pronounce that apparently, but what ifs? Alright, so this is a pretty clear choice actually. Pandora is a skip because we no longer have the strikes. Then again, we do have all the defense left, so maybe. Mm, maybe there's an argument for that. We do have the apotheosis anyway. Busted crown is very bad, so no. But Philosopher's Stone, even with its downside, is pretty good. And we also do have the Tori and the Bites to help mitigate the downside. However, it is definitely a bit of an annoyance when fighting the heart, but there's no guarantee that we even get to the heart. I mean, there's a good chance, but no guarantee. So I suppose we'll just take Philosopher's Stone here. There we are. The Beyond. Still haven't fought the Burning Elite. Need to do so now. And we don't really benefit all that much from campfires, which means... Well, actually it doesn't mean anything because we can't really avoid them unless I go this path, which... Yeah, sure. Actually, it does have a meaning. So we can skip this campfire. Have a good amount of gold as well. Let's do it like this. Hopefully run into Mind Bloom on the way. Alright. Mm, the repulsors might pose a little bit of a problem here, but only a little bit. Thank you, Pennib. Now, I would like to find dexterity of some sort, as I've been saying. Let's see if after this fight we shall find some. But how do I do this? Like this, I guess. Hmm. Seven, huh? Well, we can use the dash. Alright, here's Burst. And Adrenaline. And Backflip. So that is why Burst Plus is so good in the right deck. Obviously, if you're watching this, then you probably already know that. 
but it bears repeating. Maybe, maybe it bears repeating. Alright, um, yes, let's use prepared, but do I use something first? I might as well use this. Mm, don't want to play that. Don't need to heal. Healing damage is pretty good though. Alright. It's going well. And there we are. We can skip the Blessing of the Forge. Hersing Well is pretty good. Let's take it. Usually you can't have too many Piercing Wells. And here is the Mind Bloom. Thank you. So we are not taking upgrade all. That is especially with the downside of you can no longer heal. Can we take the gold? One store, one store. Hmm, there is a store here, but we can't get to it. So I suppose despite it being... Well, we could perhaps, we could perhaps get away with it. And we might even find a card remove in one of these question mark rooms. The thing with the normalities is though that they will mess up this deck very badly. So even one normality might just mean we die here and there's really no reason to risk it, so let's just fight a boss. Hello there, Hexaghost. How nice to see you again. Nice to see Apotheosis as well. Too much energy, so maybe you will give me an ice cream. One can always hope. Hmm, doesn't matter which one I play. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Okay, what can I draw into? Burst. Well, does burst actually help? Can draw into Eviscerate and Sneaky Strike. Those are pretty good. There's the sneaky strike. Can also pen nib it. Or the eviscerate. So which one do I pen nib? Does it even matter? Perhaps it doesn't even matter. Alright. Hmm. Well, burst isn't helping with doppelganger here. Sundial is going to activate. That's a slight bummer, but perhaps we can get it high again. We are doing well enough that maybe it doesn't even matter at this point. Not until the boss gauntlet at least. But let's not risk our life on assumptions. Let's see how close we can get to Sundial. Okay, can't play Predator. Acro prepared. Well, Whatever, we can keep waiting. Waiting is fine. But I will once again say that I would much prefer the game if I didn't have to deal with these relic numbers. That would be better. Just plain better. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's keep waiting, I guess. All right. Sundial on one will be good enough. Goodbye, Hexacoast. Hello, bird-faced urn, which doesn't actually help us all that much. Flex potion is probably better than attack potion. Let's do that. And let's skip this, though there is an argument for sneaky strike number two, but let's skip. Okay. Um... Uh, sure, let's keep going this way and... Okay, another store. Meaning that, yes, indeed, we could have removed both normalities. And gotten a gambling chip in the process. Well, hindsight is 2020. There was no way of knowing. So do I even do anything in the store? I could get the orange pellets. The second store after that becomes slightly, well, more than slightly, it becomes nearly useless if I spend money here. However, if I go this way, I will get a useless node in the form of the campfire. Hmm. So yes, indeed, taking the gold would have been far better. Orange pellets, how many powers do we even have? Do we only have one? That means orange pellets is hot garbage. I mean, probably we will find more powers. But how many chances of that do we even have? So orange pellets is very nice for getting rid of debuffs against the heart, well, against the time eater as well. But especially against the heart. The turn to vulnerable, for example. But with only one power, that is difficult to make use of. And also, if I do buy it, I have less money for the second store. Which means I will probably skip it here. And I don't think anything else is worthwhile in this store. Not with the gambling chip out of reach. So let's just keep moving, I suppose. I could have theoretically, well, th theorized that I will indeed find more powers during this run. The odds are in favor of that, but I can't know how many of them I will find that I want to take. The bird faced urn kind of incentivizes taking powers as well though and not fighting the awakened one is also one more incentive for taking more powers but yeah there are some chances of getting more powers definitely but time is slowly running out in that regard so i don't feel too bad for skipping the orange pellets which normally are quite powerful. Alright. Let us use a Predator. One of my favorite films, by the way, Predator. So simple, yet so effective as both an action film and a horror film and a science fiction film. Well, a little bit of science fiction. Thank you, Piercing Wells. Do I even need the defend? Well, we can just heal up with bites, so I don't think it matters. Also, they're dealing zero damage. And now even less than zero. Well, that's not true. Let's not go against math here. Okay, let's get rid of the Ascender's Bane. Hmm. Would be an extremely funny doppelganger here. That's way too much energy though. 
way too much. Would like to advance Sundial, that will happen anyway. That will happen anyway, so we don't need to double, 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 double. Let's instead get Penib. Well, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just use everything. This one's coming back. Goodbye. Okay, so advancing Pennib no longer as important, but the Sundial actually is. Sundial already is at 2. There we are. Now, Ancient Potion definitely has synergy with Flex Potion. Means we can get 5 strength for a whole fight. However, is that necessary? I don't think so. Would be better with a Dexterity Potion. Well, whatever it's called. That grants 5 Dexterity. So I think we'll just keep the Entropic Brew. Or maybe, maybe I'll take the Ancient Potion instead of the Flex Potion. We might be able to keep this until the Heart Fight. In which case it is very valuable. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, well here's a power. Caltrops. It is good against the heart. Otherwise, it's not very good. Not at this stage. So instead, I could just take another piercing well, which... Sure. And this door... Has a reflex. Okay, that's excellent. Concentrate as well. Excellent with reflex. However, we are already doing pretty well with energy. Which means the concentrate is pretty bad with only one. With only one reflex. That's Yeah, that's not very good. So I think the concentrate is a skip, but the reflex is a definite take. Finesse might be okay, but without dexterity, I don't know if it's worth all that gold. We still get the one guaranteed store in Act 4. Um, this is 7 max HP, which is pretty good, but I don't think it's worth all that money. Bag of Marbles still has value, takes away artifact charges from enemies. Just removing a bite or a defend is okay. I could also just move on, keep our money for the final store. I think actually I will do that instead of removing a defend. So, I don't know. Maybe that is incorrect. If I can say so. I don't know. Well, of course I can say so, but is it also true? That is debatable. Most things are debatable, though. Eh. Don't think it makes a huge difference. Let's keep moving. Hello, Nemesis. Let's use backflip first in case we get at um, burst before we use adrenaline. Then again, probably doesn't matter all that much. Did not get lucky. Once again, we have needless energy. Energy which we can't use very well. Okay, so next turn possibly hurts if Nemesis here decides to attack with the big attack. Indeed he does. Indeed he does. But we are at full health, so we are not dead. Not dead, not just yet. Alright, Predator is probably better than Defend. Drawing more cards is pretty much always worthwhile. Well, I shouldn't make such blanket statements. 
but usually that is the case. Alright, maybe Bird Faced Urn actually does get to contribute in this run, despite having bites. Slightly awkward. We can deal damage now, but... Mm. Well, let's use Dagger Throw, I guess. Hmm. Okay. We can double, double. I think that might be better than dealing damage because we can still heal up in this fight if things go well. Which I think it's quite likely actually. question is, do I bother defending against these burns? Probably doesn't matter. Let's just a double double. Double dip. Double dip into the double. Okay, get rid of Masterful Stab. And let's start healing. The healing process. Okay, back to half health. Alright. I suppose we will try to kill now though. Don't want to deal with a big attack again. Sundial is on one, but, well, that will have to do. Bronze scales, okay. That helps against the heart. Doppelganger number two. Sure. Sure. We can make use of that. Purple fire spirits. <laughs> we could immediately give the doppelganger away for max health. I might actually do that. Even though it is quite good. You could just give away Dash for a full heal. Dash has started to lose its effectiveness. Its efficacy. Um, I think... I don't know. The plus 10 max HP actually matters a lot, I think. Since we are down with it, so... Yeah, okay. This doppelganger is... Extremely good, actually, but maybe the 10 health is better. Maybe that is the case. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, thank you for your service, Doppelganger. There we are, plus 10 max HP. Jaw worms. Mm, let's use Dagger Throw into Reflex, I suppose. Could also use Survivor instead. Yeah, that's better, actually. Since we are taking damage currently. Oh, there's the burst. Oh, well. What ifs, what ifs. Hmm. Let's skip the burst, I think. Okay. So Pennip means we can kill this one. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, 
All right, this one next. Do I need to defend? Um, maybe. Maybe. We can kill this one. Two defense and a backflip. Eh, sure, let's get rid of a defend. Alright. Might be even be able to kill this one. But I would also like to advance the sundial, which means I don't actually want to kill it yet. Can I get prepared? Yes, I can. There we are. Can I kill it without at activating pen nib? 20 plus 27. 47, yes. And we can even do this first. Good. Okay, deflect might be fine. Without dexterity, it's only fine though. Like I've said, I would really like to find some dexterity. Otherwise, we might just die to die already to time eater, which would be a shame for a display. But if we can't find it, then we can't find it. Catalyst obviously is doing nothing. Dagger spray is just hot garbage. So let's skip. All right, potion belt is here. That's excellent with entropic brew. Um, time is running out for Matryoshka to do its thing. It has only one more chance. Let us recall now. Might want to rest here. Unlikely, but possible. And here is Reptomancer. Hmm. Not an excellent turn one, but we did get the tools of the trade. Well, at least we are not taking damage yet. Might have to use the Entropic Brew next turn, though. Alright, she is not attacking. Which is quite helpful. Right, let's just use the adrenaline already instead of trying to draw into burst first. There is the burst. We also have the doppelganger, which probably means I'm using it on that. And just set up a big next turn instead of trying to do something here. Could use dash perhaps to block more, but with the bites and the bird faced urn, perhaps that is unnecessary. Could just use piercing well as well, that blocks for a good amount. Yeah, sure. Also get value out of Centennial Puzzle. And the Tori. Which hasn't done all that much during this run. Usually it is far more effective. Here's Reptomancer being rude. Let's kill one of these foolish daggers. Okay, Pennib is on three.
Okay, neutralize and piercing well means we won't take damage. Thank you, Sundial. Thank you, Backflip, for actually enabling the use of the energy that we just got. Okay, we can get Pennib. There we are. Okay, still three energy left over. It do be what it do be. Do be do. Alright, it's going well enough. Going well enough. Hmm. Do I even want to draw into anything? I guess the Sneaky Strike and the Eviscerate are worth trying to get. Indeed, we got the Sneaky Strike. Full health, so bites are unnecessary. Let's just deal more damage. Speaking of damage, we could use some boost in that department if we want to be able to win the run. Which, spoiler alert, we do want, that is. <clears throat> right, so no longer weakened. Can use Pennib on the Eviscerate. Um. If I take damage here due to playing sub optimally, it's semi bad, but it's not the end of the world. But I guess I should calculate if I can actually kill Repto currently. Don't think we want to try to advance the sundial here. So let's just use prepared. Yeah, I think this is enough damage. Yes, definitely with the with the pen nib. Um, with the burst, I can even pen nib twice with the blade dance. So let's get rid of cloak and dagger. Probably don't need to do anything like that. Yeah, we don't. Definitely don't. Math isn't my strongest suit anymore. I used to be okay at math in school, but apparently my so-called skills have worn off with time. Okay, we can advance Pennip here. There we are. Back of preparation, nice. Flex potion. Okay. Piercing well number four. Is that good? I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe more than four is too many, but against the time eater, piercing well is definitely nice. Writing mass, huh? Perhaps my least favorite enemy in the entire game. But here we are. Well, we can immediately use Piercing Well. Um, maybe I just use Doppelganger here instead of going for damage immediately. Can also get value out of Centennial Puzzle. Yeah, whatever. Let's do so. Apotheosis is here. Tools is here. Okay, let's do it like that. Might be able to draw into burst. So maybe we should try before I play adrenaline. Indeed, that was the case. Can't fit all the cards in my hand, though. 
don't have terror yet, but I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Let's just deal some damage here. Need to be a little bit careful though. So that we don't get cursed by this stupid frightening mass. Okay, is Purse still active? Yes it is. Terror is at the bottom of the deck, apparently. Well, we can get there. There we are. Hmm. Predator would be nice, but maybe I need to stop dealing damage now. Well, we can still do this. Oh, no, you don't. I uh, should have drawn into the Predator, actually, there. Hmm. Okay, let's skip the Eviscerate. No point risking it. Thank you, Piercing Well. Piercing Wells, I mean. Hmm. Guess I just end turn. All right, let's see what happens here. Fourteen, huh? Hmm. I guess I can can go for damage. Probably. But I should maybe consider skipping doing so because there's not much to gain in case in case this bastard tries to once again curse and then I need to use the other damage card after which it's possible that it's going to deal too much damage to be comfortable. We do have the piercing well though so it's probably fine. If that happens, okay, now we stop. Now we stop. Sundial is on zero. Not ideal. Let's see if we can advance it. Perhaps we can. Hmm. Eh, it's probably fine. Yes, okay. Might not get the sundial to two or even one, not comfortably, but we can try, half acidly at least. Alright, um, just attack me, I guess. Enjoy. Okay, that's sundial on one. Getting it on two would be better, but maybe I don't want to bother. Yeah, let's not let's not bother. Let's kill this bastard. Goodbye. Calculated Campbell is very nice. Let's take it. It's also a decent upgrade target. Let's also add three colorless cards to our deck. Well, three potential colorless card picks here. Blind might actually be good enough to take. We only have one source of weak. So yes, I think that's going to be a pick. Let's take a look at the other things though. Trip, kind of the same deal. 
despite having the terror we might want to get rid of artifact charges in which case that card helps a lot bandage up is not very good currently not with the bites sadistic nature might might perhaps do something i don't know not a lot not a lot definitely definitely not a lot so no panacea though i like panacea so let's take panacea blind and trip there we are confusion and here's nemesis back for revenge Back at it. Oh, thank you, Burst. I was looking for you. Double, double. Okay, we have a lot of energy, which is nice, but the intangible, then again means we can't probably make good use out of all of it can draw into something good though perhaps what would that be maybe predator maybe predator just the ascender's pain is decent if we can draw into it just so we don't draw into it when it matters more Okay, that's probably enough already. Let's use Calculated Gamble. Hiya! Hmm. Really dislike using Adrenaline currently, so maybe I even skip using it. Maybe I can draw back into it. Hmm. We'd have perhaps made use of Centennial Puzzle as well. Also, Trip is pretty useless in this fight. Okay. Thank you, Blind. Um, so taking damage here is fine, maybe even optimal. So let's just advance Penib and take some damage. Okay, biting is good. Let's see if we can bite. Oh, should not have done that. Mistake. Oh well. That might actually matter against the time meter. So, yeah, definite mistake. Definite mistake. Eternal Feather doesn't help a lot. He'll heal, heal us for... A whole three hit points there. Concentrate is here, which is still a skip. Leg sweep is good though. Does mean that the blind pickup comes slightly worse. And we never did find that dexterity. Oh well. Let's upgrade calculated gamble. And let's head into this fight. I will take a break now though and use the power of editing. Alright, here I am again. Let's see if we can defeat the Time Eater.
the Eater of Time. Alright, I guess we will be using Trip. Haven't drawn the Terror. Okie dokie, let's see if we can get Apotheosis or perhaps Adrenaline. Well, Acrobatics is here, giving us a chance. There's the Terror at least. Can also use Sneaky Strike, obviously. I might even save... Well, actually, there's no reason to save the Terror for Phase 2 of the fight, since we do have the trip, actually. So, let's probably not bother with that. There's Apotheosis. Okay, that makes this fight easier. Definitely makes it easier. We are not bursting anything, are we? No, I don't think so. Also, not using Piercing Well yet. No reason to. Let's try to keep them. One, two, three. Okay, it's slightly problematic. Shouldn't play too many things. So maybe I'm just playing leg sweep and ending at that. Can only play three cards next turn. Ah, uh, company. Yes, indeed. Hopefully not for long, but here I am for now. Alright, so we are taking damage, it seems. That was kind of to be expected. At least we do have the Bite Pluses to heal us up. Definitely want tools in play. <clears throat> so, do I play Predator or Panacea here? <clears throat> Probably actually Predator, I think. So yeah, definitely a good thing that we can afford to take some damage in this fight, because there's basically no way around it with this deck. Um, do I play Piercing Well for this? Probably I do, actually. Which means I can discard the Defend. Can we draw into Adrenaline? Okay. No Adrenaline there. Alright, so we could set up a big turn with Doppelganger, I guess we might as well. We could also just bite. Don't really want to use Eviscerate when it costs two, when we have Doppelganger in hand. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> we might end up using potions in this fight, but for now let's try not to. Right, not playing that. Or this. Alright, good finds. There we are. We are slowly getting there. Nearly at the halfway point. So obviously I want to do the piercing well trick once the time eater decides to remove the debuffs. Piercing wells are all in the discard pile though, which means I might not be able to do so unless I purposely prolong the fight, which I actually can't do because of the bronze scales. Time Eater will reach the halfway point, regardless of whether I attack here or not. Do have the Calculated Gamble and the Reflex Plus and the Acrobatics though, so maybe we can do it. Hmm. Could burst the Prepared, try to draw into something. Like Backflip or Reflex. I'll go ahead and do that. 
actually. I don't want to play Evis right here. There's no chance we kill Time Eater before. It just cleanses everything and heals up to the halfway point, so... No point there, I don't think. Okay, let's just block. Yeah, we won't be doing the trick, which means that I kind of screwed this fight up. Unless I can draw into it now, which is theoretically possible. So don't know if I can actually win, at least without using potions, if I don't get lucky here and draw piercing well. So I kind of, yeah, I, I did screw this fight up. Didn't get lucky either. All right, well, we'll just have to make do. Foolish, foolish. Yes, I know. I, I noticed here's piercing well, but not the correct turn for it. Now we also have these damn slimes in the deck. Right, there's a reflex. And there is trip. Visera not being all that useful. I think we actually take this damage because, well, because of the nine cards played and didn't we also have, yes we do, we have Tori. There we are. The good news is that if we get through this fight, then the next fight should be far easier. Okay, now let's use Panacea. Take 30 to the face, as you do. Poor Masterful Stab is now unplayable. Hmm. All right, I'll actually get rid of Survivor. Is that a good idea? Maybe not. Could get rid of Neutralize, actually, because we have other sources of weakness. Alright, 22 in addition to that is enough. So I think we do have enough damage, hopefully, to get through this fight. Alright, would like a piercing well or perhaps the leg sweep. Well, there's a piercing well. Okie dokie. And we can play two cards afterwards. But are we dead? Need to use a potion, probably. Hmm. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Might not even be enough to use a potion here. Hmm. Yeah, I really screwed this fight up. Really badly. Oh well. Oh well. Guess we just start chugging. Hmm. Maybe I should have used the Ancient Potion and the Flex Potion way earlier. That would have guaranteed enough damage for this fight. Basically, basically we need to rely on the Entropic Brew to generate something. Or perhaps the Duplication Potion with Dagger Throw will draw into like the Leg Sweep Plus. Which I'm not going to calculate if that's enough, but hopefully that's enough. Um, would obviously like to use the duplication potion on something like the leg sweep, but we need to get that leg sweep. Uh, okay, so I can draw into leg sweep, maybe backflip acrobatics, the dagger throw. 
just wondering if I need to like consume these potions now. I probably do. As sad as that is. Okay, distilled chaos might save us. Liquid memories could save us. <clears throat> so maybe actually liquid memories here for a backflip or 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 is there another option? Don't think so. And then we have the duplication already active. Hopefully this is enough so we can keep these potions for Act 4. There's the blind. Alright, we are alive. Just barely alive. But let's try to keep these potions, like I said, otherwise there's no chance, basically, unless the store has something good for us. And once again, we are in this situation, so I guess we just end turn, so we get to play four things. Piercing Well and Leg Sweep are both coming up, so maybe we're fine. Hmm. Defend now, so we can play Leg Sweep, Piercing Well, Backflip, I think. That's going to be all of it. Alright, not attacking. Meaning Piercing Well is not getting played. Leg Sweep, I think, is though. Let's see what Backflip has for us. Sneaky strike, eviscerate. Okay, so I could deal damage instead. That's probably better. Yeah, it's better. Obviously, it's better to get the kill here. All right. So did screw that fight up, but we got through it thanks to the potions. And here's the vacant one, which I think will go relatively smoothly. But you never know, especially when I'm playing this badly. So, do we only have one power with tools? I think that's the case, yeah. Can't remember everything since um, it's actually another day for me. After getting to this um, boss gauntlet here. So, we might as well use Terror. Blind is AoE. Alright, doppelganger probably, instead of biting. Definitely do need to find some help in Act 4 to have a chance against the heart, but maybe it's too early to worry about that. Alright. It burst the prepared. Try to draw into something good here, like a reflex, adrenaline, acrobatics. Backflip is kind of good, as is trip. And there's the adrenaline as well. Okie dokie. Let's start the biting. You may have a little bit of strength there, a vacant one. Alright, so yeah, we can use this on this one, but... But, 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 there's the pen nib. There we are. Guess I could just get rid of Ascender Spain here instead of using Calculated Gamble. Then again, I could draw into Eviscerate, Masterful Stab and Sneaky Strike at the same time, perhaps. So, you know what? Sure. There's the Sneaky Strike. And we can use Acro. And 
this time let's try to make use of the piercing well trick which we were unsuccessful at against Tim the Eater. Alright, taking a little bit here is fine. Can just heal it back up. Okay, we are only taking one damage currently. So, no real reason to block necessarily, but here we are full blocking anyway. Okay, probably use a piercing well here. Probably didn't even need to do that, but we have plenty of them, it's fine. Okay, we can use pen nib perhaps. Perhaps we can. So this is going to deal 30... No, it's going to deal 48. Can't do the piercing well if I pen nip the sneaky strike. Because we need to bite twice. Leaving us no energy to use the piercing well before we sneaky strike. So let's not pen nip the sneaky strike at all. Okay, is this enough? Yes it is. Alright, now let's get rid of your pesky strength here. Do that. Um, let's also make sure that these aren't guaranteed for next turn. There we are. No strength for you. So this turn is looking pretty bad. Let's see if we can do better. Well, we can. Still taking damage, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't really even need to full heal here because we have the Eternal Feather for next acts. Guaranteed campfire. But I would really like to get Sundial on two at least before we leave the fight. That is something that would help a lot. So let's make an effort to get Sundial on two. Can pen nip this? I guess we should as well, despite it costing two.
Hmm, okay. Slight mistake there. I guess we can take one, it's fine. There goes Sundial, so we need to prolong the fight again. That's just how it do be in the Slate Aspire streets. As sad as that is, that is how it do be. We can cycle through the deck like in a decent amount of time at least. It doesn't take as long as it might with some other decks. Eh, is there even a point in, in attacking with these shifts? I guess there's a little bit of a point. Alright, next turn might be a bit painful. Let's actually use Predator before trip, because I don't want to kill the awakened, awakened one by accident too soon. Maybe I shouldn't even use trip here. So I want, might want to do Predator again without killing it. Just for Sundial. Alright, well, Piercing Well is here to save the day at least. Not that we really need a saving anyway, but might as well use it. Alright, one more for Sundial. We are getting there. Alright, let's just end turn here. A little bit more needed. Can actually get there now with the help of burst and backflip. There we are. So this will kill by itself. And Pennib will be on the correct number as well. Not that it matters any anymore for the Pennib. But we did make it to Act 4. After like a very bad fight with the Time Eater, that fight at least went smoothly. Okay, I guess we'll upgrade, probably Burst. Maybe Panacea or Reflex are also okay. Uh, let's do Burst, yeah. And since we have 357 gold, the store might save us. Doesn't look like it's saving us. Could get the get some more max health with the pair or some energy with Nunchaku. <sighs> there is a world where magnetism actually saves us, but that's that's very very um how should I say it? Very unlikely. And kind of um kind of a strange choice, to be honest. Basically I never buy this thing. But there is a world where that indeed will save us. We don't have any dexterity or intangibility, so I think even with all the sources of weaken and healing and all of the upgraded cards, we are currently dying to the heart. 
Power potion might do something. I will buy that. So the question is, do I gamble on magnetism? Don't think anything else here has the potential to save us, apart from maybe the plus 10 max HP from pair, but don't think that's actually enough max HP. So this might be very weird indeed. Magnetism. <laughs> oh man, what can it even get for us? I'll, I'll take a look at the colors card list here. Determine if there's anything there that can actually for realsies save us. Okay, so discovery panic button and stuff like that definitely has the potential to save us. And I think since there's nothing else that's even remotely good in this store, we kind of need to gamble on magnetism of all things. Didn't think that would happen, but here we are. Can I even find a use for the rest of my money? I guess I could also gamble on Jack of all trades. Which might actually be a curse, depending on what we get, but it might also save us. There's a slight chance of it providing something good. Strength potion instead of fear potion. Uh, maybe, maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. I don't know if we even get through these elites here. Yeah, okay. I will just buy a strength potion instead. And that's going to be it for me, dog. Well, there's... <clears throat> excuse me. There's Magnetism, turn 1. It's also Adrenaline plus turn 1. I will probably go ahead and use a Strength Potion immediately. Really would be a shame to lose against these two things. And we do have the Bronze Scales for damage against the Heart, so... Hopefully, if we get there, that will be enough for damage at least. So I suppose we'll take a look with Adrenaline. Hopefully, if we get very lucky, draw into Apotheosis or maybe Tools. Nope. That's to be expected, obviously. Let's use Panacea and Masterful Stab here. Guess we are killing the Spire Shield first. Or trying to do so at least. Still have an opportunity to draw into that apotheosis before we play the magnetism. Let's see if we get lucky. There's the calculated gamble. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we do play Magnetism here, probably, but let's play Backflip at least first. Doppelganger. We kind of do need help for next turn, so maybe we do play that Doppelganger already. Might even take damage on purpose here, actually. That does work in our favor with Sentinel Puzzle and the Bites. So maybe what I do here is just play Magnetism plus Doppelganger. Or perhaps Magnetism is going to be for the hard fight instead of this elite fight. We can get through this elite fight without Magnetism, I think. Hopefully. So currently we're taking 17 damage. Do I skip the Magnetism? I could actually play it later on as well. Hmm. Getting two more draws with Doppelganger might be better. I think that's actually better, yeah. Could also block with Leg Sweep here, but we can just recover with Bites. So let's just go ahead and use Doppelganger. And if things work out really weirdly, then we might never actually use that Magnetism that I bought. Here's Apotheosis. So thank you, Doppelganger. Alright, so we need to, well, hopefully, 
or ideally we can switch our stance here but definitely playing that can draw into some good things here piercing well is good and we can actually use it we can get through those artifacts very nice very nice let's actually use this first then the trip then the piercing well and can we actually kill this now no use from pen nib Well, I'll definitely do this at least. See what we get. Another piercing well. I might actually use that. That will enable us to not actually... Well, actually, can we kill? Maybe we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Good. There we are. That's far more tolerable. So we will get to the hard fight, it seems. Yeah, we can take a little bit of damage, save the piercing well. I don't know if that's like necessary or anything, but it's fine. Definitely want to be at full health when we leave this fight, though. So need to do some biting, which hopefully won't be too much of a difficulty. Alright, thank you for not attacking. Sundial, getting getting Sundial on 2 might be something that we can't actually accomplish though. Also, actually biting for full health is also not going to work out because I killed the damn Spire Shield first, so I don't know what I was thinking. Especially with Pen Nib, we can't, yeah. Okay, we just need to get out of here. Won't be at full health. Well, it seems I'm playing... Well, the bad plays. I'm continuing. We might still win this run, perhaps. But yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Obviously. Sundial is on the wrong number. And we're also not at full health. Also can't prolong this fight any longer because of bronze scales. Which I totally forgot about sad here's happy flower so that's even more energy dodge and roll without dexterity that's like the only thing that we could possibly take here we might find some dexterity out of the power potion though uh, i don't think it's going to be good enough not even when upgraded and I would imagine that we don't actually have what it takes to beat the heart, but let's find out. Tools turn one does help. Let's use the strength potion and probably the power potion as well, though if we do find a wraith form, then that's going to be an annoyance. Here's also magnetism turn one. Could wait for, wait with this. Hmm. But let's see what we get. Okay, after image, that's going to help a little bit. Let's see if we get very lucky with this dagger throw. Nope. Also, why did not why did I not play terror? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I'm playing badly. Playing quite badly. Oh well. Now we are at full health. Violence, huh? Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Okay, so Sentinel Puzzle is going to do things here. 
Okay. So violence can only hit sneaky strike or three bites. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just take the damage. Take the one damage per card plate. There's a doppelganger. Well, the doppelganger, I should say. Here's also piercing well, but we don't need it because of the Tori. Not necessarily. Okay, so do I use one piercing well here? Or not? Just to save a little bit of health. Well, 15. That's not a little bit, actually. So let's see if we can draw into apotheosis. Yes, we can. Okay. Good. Could even save Doppelganger for later and instead play Predator now. I think that's actually probably better. Probably. Do we want more energy for next turn? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but we can make better use of that doppelganger with the help of burst, perhaps, at some point. Or we could play both predator and doppelganger here, but let's just, let's just play that. Keep the double for later. Thank you, bronze scales. Mind Blast, okay. Well, that's not very good. That is not very good at all. Just get rid of you. Stinky Mind Blast. Okay, so this is going to hurt. Might consider perhaps the Distilled Chaos, but I don't think it can hit anything. Well, it can hit Burst, Defend, Survivor Plus. That will have help save some health. Let's just play Leg Sweep. Calculated Gamble here. Let's leave the Slime be for the time being. Calculated Gamble game back. Panacea is useless now. But I guess we want to get rid of it. Right, so I could burst Survivor Plus, or I could try to draw into something, but is there even anything that I'd like to draw into? Eh, let's just use the burst. Also burst defend here. Dramatic entrance, huh? Okay. Also, trip has no utility anymore. We already have enough weaken on on the heart here, so we don't need need trip to get rid of artifact charges either. So here's the doppelganger turn. And next turn, or the turn after that, we'll probably need to use the Distilled Chaos to stand a chance. Okay, big attack. Stupid Mind Blast. Well, Good Instincts does a little bit at least. At least a little bit. It's trying its best. But is your best good enough? 
I don't know. We will find out. Having dexterity would be so helpful. We can still hold the distilled chaos though. It's, let's get rid of the slime. Hmm. I mean, yes, getting rid of the artifact charges does help for the piercing wells, of which we have two left. Just wondering if I should use this already to get rid of that one. Also, is there a point in using Blade Dance for a little bit of damage? Well, we do have the Strength and the Vulnerable, so it's more than a little bit. Beat of Death is still two, so let's do it. Also, advances Pen Nib. Hmm. So next turn is the multi-attack. And if we draw into the second piercing well, we also need to get rid of that artifact charge. So I guess I will use this just in case. All right, so don't need it yet. Anyway, don't have it. Well. Don't have it as well. Also, here's enlightenment to help with predator and dash. And here would also be blind to get rid of that artifact charge that we already took care of. So the only other th well, there are other things that Enlightenment can hit, so I suppose we use Acrobatics now. Masterful Stab is once again playable. And there is the Piercing Well, but we don't need to use it. Alright, do your worst. Ow, 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 ow. The bomb, huh? Well, that's not helpful. But we do have a good chance of beating the beating the fight here. And it might be that I actually do play the bomb. So now it's looking unlikely since we got cal calculated gamble. Beat of death is about to go up. Just wondering if I should bite here or immediately use calculated gamble instead. I think we just use calculated gamble. And here is Eviscerate. And also Burst Backflip here. Can't really pen nip this because we don't we can't fit the shifts into the hand. So might as well just do that. Mind Blast is trying its best as well, but it's it's <laughs> it's still still not going to be enough. There's the sundial, which I have to admit I forgot about. Okay, now Mind Blast is actually doing things. Thirty damage. Since I don't want it to feel too bad, I guess we will use it. There you go, Mind Blast. But what will happen now? Okay, it is this attack, the multi-attack. It's going to be 15 damage only though, so we are still alive. 
Heat of Death is 3. Here's Discovery. We could also use the Distilled Chaos, but maybe we save it for next turn instead. Oh, thank you, Enlightenment. Thank you very much. Can pen nip something like Sneaky Strike here? If I really want to, but... Maybe there's no point, actually. I think I like Discovery here. Is well, we get energy back from the Sneaky Strike, yeah. Okay. Alright, it seems we won. And even the bomb gets to be played. There we are. There we are. Despite very bad play on my part on multiple occasions, that was enough indeed to beat the heart. And now the silent is at 50% win rate. Okie dokie. So the Tori didn't start out strong, but in the hard fight definitely carried its weight. Basically saved us the fight. Preserved Insect did things as did Sundial. Pennip was semi-impactful, I would say. Bag of Prep, always good. Potion Belt did quite a lot, actually. And the Bronze Scales, which... I didn't mention yet, that was quite nice as well. Bird Faced Urn healed us for only 50 in total, that's kind of low for it, but it is what it is. And we even kept the Distilled Chaos. Alright. Overall, I, I guess I should be pretty satisfied with how that went, but I do know that I made a ton of mistakes, so maybe I'm not as satisfied as I might otherwise be had I played better. Pretty low score as well, not that that matters at all. Let's take a look at the run history here. Alright, so yeah, Adrenaline Plus, definitely nice. Burst Plus worked out. Apotheosis, well, that was a key factor in the win. Basically couldn't have done it without it. Bites actually were a good event this time. Four piercing wells. Um, occasionally that was too many, but still having four was good enough, or it was both enough and too much at the same time. But I'd rather have more of them and not find a use for them than have too few of them. Not sure about the blind and trip pickups in hindsight, but I guess occasionally they did help a little bit. Magnetism did contribute in the fight, the final fight against the heart. I don't think it was actually necessary. don't think it provided us like anything that substantial, but... Eh. First time for everything. That might have been the first time I actually buy magnetism ever. Kind of crazy to think about, given how many hours I've sank into this thing, this wonderful game that is so frustrating all right so that's the end of the silent run next time we will of course be doing the defect who is doing quite badly in terms of the win rate so let's see how that goes thanks for watching i will see you then